want to give you an overview of my thesis work. Uh, what I first uh, will do is explain, give you just a couple of slides of theory about trajectory coordinates and uh, the contact formulation used in the uh, SEMS uh, rail uh, multiple code. And the first part of my thesis and my presentation is basically the numerical part that I here in Chicago. While the second part, the biggest part of the thesis, will be <coughs> devoted to an experimental and numerical study of uh, experimental roller rig that uh, were comparing the test that uh, I performed in Turin, uh, exactly in Vercelli, with the roller rig that uh, Professor Bouliot told you before. And the same uh, roller rig was the same roller rig was built in Sun's rail environment, uh, uh, full scale one, and the results were compared. And uh, finally, we obtained obtain a numerical experimental validation of Sam's rail model comparing the results, and I will give you at the end some brief conclusions. Okay, uh, the motivation, one of the motivation of this thesis is that uh, existing railroad simulation codes in North America have problems in simulating braking scenarios when uh, using the trajectory coordinate methods, method. Uh, this was stated by Dr. Andoko and uh, Danas Seca in 2006, and this is basically due uh, to the fact that the trajectory coordinate method used have specific, uh, specified and imposed uh, motion. So the objective of this thesis is to demonstrate the ability of a trajectory coordinates module and sense rail in simulating braking scenarios. As already said in my overview, this thesis will be divided in two parts. The numerical part done here in Chicago, where trajectory coordinates module uses track coordinate system that can have an arbitrary motion, and this one is the uh, relaxation of the hypothesis that uh, I did, we did in sense rail that helps, help, helps us uh, to use trajectory coordinates, the trajectory coordinate method in some uh, environment. And the other biggest, uh, the, the other big part of my thesis is the experimental part that was developed uh, in June and July, the first semester in Turin, where the numerical results are compared with the experimental test obtained using a roller rig available in the codifier lab in, uh, in Virginia. Okay, first uh, I will give you a brief introduction about the trajectory coordinates. The main difference uh, between the trajectory coordinates and the absolute, abs uh, absolute, coordinate, uh, absolute coordinate method is the fact that uh, in this uh, trajectory coordinate method we have an additional reference frame that is a reference frame that travels along the track. And so this this is basically the expression that represents the location of an arbitrary point on a body trajectory coordinate that <coughs> uh, in which uh, the location of an, of an arbitrary point in a, in a body I could be represented by a, a combination and the sum of all these terms that uh, are basically represented by the distance, distance uh, traveled by the body trajectory coordinate system along the track center line that is the distance here and is measured along the track. And uh, this uh, other parameters that are the relative uh, lateral and vertical position of the body reference with respect to the track frame, we don't consider, of course, the uh, x direction because the x direction of the track reference system, of the body reference system, is the same x, x uh, coordinate of the track reference system. And these are the three rotation of body I uh, on the space. So finally, we can come up with a vector of six components of body I generalized, generalized coordinates, in which we have six parameters. As I said before, S1 is the trajectory coordinate. Um, uh, y and Z are the vertical, the lateral and the vertical position. And this one are the three rotation of the body. The second uh, slide, the second part uh, of this presentation will be devoted to explain you may the, uh, the two main contact form group of contact formulation that I use in Sam's rail. The first contact for the first group of contact formulation is called the constraint contact formulation, where the contact 
between the wheel and the rail is treated using constrained conditions that are imposed in terms of position, acceleration, and velocities. The other group of uh, contact formulation are called the elastic contact, uh, is the elastic contact formulation, where uh, the, location, uh, the location of the contact point between wheel and rail are predicted by solving a set of algebraic equations which are expressed in terms of parameters that uh, describe describes the geometry of the wheel and rail surfaces. And uh, in the work that uh, uh, we did, we used the elastic contact formulation. So the elastic contact formulation, the, fa the, the elastic contact formulation that uh, I used in the thesis is the elastic contact formulation um, A. Uh, here we can see that uh, we, are, we have four parameters that these four parameters are called surfaces parameter and are the parameter that define the location of the contact point of the contact point between uh, in, uh, wheel and rail. These two parameters here that are S1R, this one here, and S2W, this one here, define the plane through which we decide to cut wheel and rail, while the other two parameters, the external parameters, the, uh, the final time step uh, value. So well, this, what, this is what was done in Turin with the experimental runnery and the experimental test. And uh, the same uh, roller rig, the same model of the roller rig, was built in SAMS environment, uh, SAMS, uh, using SAMS rail code, but full scale. Full scale. So what was important to consider was to uh, full scale masses, first of all, stiffnesses, damping, inertia, and dimensions with the, the proper uh, scaling, scaling factor. And uh, since uh, we also have to consider the losses that uh, we have in reality inside the roller ring, we have to add some additional friction, friction torque due to bearing torque, as I said before, using the same estimation that we, I explained in the previous slide, a torque due to the use of the reduction here and the torque due to the air viscosity. <coughs> so these are the numerical results that are obtained this, in this plot uh, is plotted the longitudinal position in meters of uh, uh, the forward position of the real wheel set for the loading conditions, uh, load condition seven torque per, per axis using two different braking torques. As we expect, of course, applying a, a higher braking torque of this magnitude, this, the boogie stops around stops uh, before then applying a braking torque that of course is around uh, half of this braking torque. In this case you should consider that braking is applied actually the internal friction torques during the experiments because of course uh, I did the best uh, as I can with um, estimating the friction torques, uh, the, the internal friction um, loses of the, of the roller ring but of course maybe there are some other uh, losses that uh, we are not able to estimate and this uh, brings us to a sort of difference between the numerical model and the, uh, and the experimental test. Finally, about the numerical part, the numerical results in general, the results of the comparative study have shown also all a good agreement with the absolute coordinate system in, in using the trajectory coordinate and the trajectory coordinate implemented in some rail, in some rail can simulate uh, a braking due to the fact that the prescribed mo imposed motion is not required but the, the track uh, reference system can take, any, uh, can take any velocity. So what I would like, I would like to finish acknowledging, acknowledging uh, the USC staff in America for my American work uh, Dr. Shabana and uh, Tarek that helped me for the braking simulation and all the DSL uh, lab that helped me and uh, for the uh, Italian part of the Politecnico, uh, Dr. Uh, Professor Gugliotta, Professor Suma, uh, Ingegner Bosso uh, that is working in the uh, industry. Thank you. Well, Thank you. you. Ah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know that. <laughs> <laughs> but we were not about
Yeah, Sardinia. Sardinia. <laughs> <laughs> the green one. Because he was complaining when he goes to a restaurant in Chicago, he has a map of Italy. But he wants to include his eye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's why when, when I made a presentation for the FRA meeting, I, I put also Sardinia there because when you go to every restaurant here, they show you the mainland, they show you Sicily, but they don't show Sardinia. Sardinia actually is a part of Italy. So. <laughs> yeah, 